Okay, good morning everyone. Agazunta Zomer, how's everybody doing? I want to share with you two ideas from the Chida on Parshas Achrei Mois. Parshas Achrei Mois opens with the subject of Yom HaKippurim. Ki b'yom hazeh yechaper aleichem letar eschem mikol chato yseichem lefnei Hashem titaru. The Gemara in Masech Yuma teaches us that there are four chiluke kapara. The Gemara says on the Pei Vav, they asked Rav Masya ben Charash. Rav Masya ben Charash asked Rav Elazar ben Azaria in Rome. I heard there are four chiluke kapara that Rabbi Shmuel would darshan. And he said there are three, and tshuva is with each and every one. If somebody violates an ase and does tshuva, he doesn't move from there until he gets immediate mechila. Like it says, shuvu vanim shayvavim. If one violates a lois ase and he does tshuva, tshuva suspends Yom Kippur's mechaper. Like it says, kibiyayim hazayi chaper aleichem mikol chato yseichem. If one violates a krisos or misas bezin and does tshuva, tshuva and Yom Kippur are toila and yisurin wipe it out. Like it says, ufakarati b'shevet pisham uvenegayim avaynam. But one who has chilol Hashem, tshuva does not have the kayak to suspend, Yom Kippur cannot be mechaper, yisurim cannot cleanse, but they all suspend and misa wipes it out. Says the chida in the Sefer Pnei David, that the Pasuk in Parshas Achrei Mois that refers to the four Chiluke Kapara, the Pasuk in Achrei Mois that speaks about Yom Kippur is re- referencing and alluding to the Arba Chiluke Kapara. How so? Ki Bayoim Hazah. It doesn't say Hayoim Hazah, this day. It means with this day. What does that mean? Um... Something together. In other words, this Pasuk is a reference to all four Chiluke Kapara. Bayoim Hazeh, it doesn't say Hayoim Hazeh. Something in addition to this day will atone for you. And that's Tshuva on this day with Yom Kippur will be Mechaper on Aloisase. Letaher Eschem, that's a remez that if a person violated, Krisos, Umisas Bezdin, then you need Yisurim to be Metaher. So it says, Letaher al Yidei Yisurim. So, Kibayoim Hazeh, with Tshuva on this day, Yechaper Aleichem. You'll get complete atonement. Letaher Eschem, if you violated Krisos of Mises Bezin, you also need Yisurim. Lefnei Hashem, this is a remez, that if you sinned before Hashem, which is Chil Hashem, then after Tshuva and Yom Kippur, and Yisurim, in other words, if somebody was lifnei Hashem, that if you were choyta with chilol Hashem, it was lifnei Hashem, then titaru. Then in the future one will receive purification through Misa, which is the Gemara HaKapara. So it's interesting that the atonement for mitzvah saseh is not really alluded to, because that's with tshuva alone, and this Pasuk is talking about what is needed with Yom Kippur. But it seems that the other types of atonement, namely Kibayoim Hazah, which is Tshuva and Yom Kippur, will bring you Yechaper Aleichem. Letaher Eschem is purity with Yisurim for Krisos and Misas Bezin. And Lefnei Hashem, it's a remez that if somebody sinned, Lefnei Hashem, which is Chil Hashem, then after Tshuva and Yom Kippur and Yisurim, then one will gain Tahara through Misa, which is the Gemar HaKapara. Okay, so this is the first idea of the Chida in Parshas uh, Achrei Mois. Recording stopped.